But let's have a look at the ant lion quickly first, I think, if that's all right. Is that fine, Justin? Right. Now, in here I've got two things, and this is what's so nice about being in the tent. There's the ant lion, and I'm just going to show you how small he is first. He's a tiny little thing there in the bottom right-hand corner. There you go. You can just see his little pincers, and we'll put him under the microscope now and show you what he looks like. And then we're going to show you how he digs, and that's really quite fun. Okay, here we go. Let's put him under here. There he is. I bet you can hardly see him. Can you see him there? Now what he's trying to do is dig into this little plastic box that he's in. He doesn't know, doesn't understand why he can't dig because his brain is very, very small. I know some people with brains this small, but this is a really small-brained antlion. Okay, you see that? And you can see the spikes on the top of his head, and those are used to catch ants. Right, now what we're going to do, and we're going to have to be quite quick about this, so come back to me, Kirst. Kirsten is directing, by the way. What we're going to do is we're going to put him into the sand here, and then I'm going to quickly put the microscope on him before he can dig underneath, and we're going to watch him dig. Okay, let's go. Uh, wait, there he is, there he is, there he is. Now let's see if he digs. Are you going to dig? Look at his eyes. He's thinking about digging. Now, Dana, you want to know why it's called an ant lion? It's just because it's so good at eating ants, Dana. That's why. There, he's starting to dig now. He's starting to dig with his bottom. And you see how cleverly camouflaged he is? Remember, we spoke about camouflage. And we spoke about the mantis that was camouflaged. There, look, he's digging. I'm just trying to keep the picture right. It's not great. There we go. Now he's starting to dig. You can see he's flicking his bottom. There he goes. Look. Oh. Here he goes. He's going to go all the way under the ground there. Isn't he clever? And he's going to disappear completely. And now I'm going to show you the sand where he's gone. And you won't be able to see him. All right, so if you come back to me now, what you'll see is if Fergus shows you the sand, you can't see him. He's gone completely. Isn't that just the best? So now we're going to put him back in the soil, because you must remember, in the wilderness, we want to leave the wilderness as we found it. We don't want to have too much effect on the wilderness. So I'm going to put him back, and he's going to live, hopefully, happily ever after. Let's head back to Jamie just now. I must just say good <laughs> goodbye to all of you. Uh, thank you for joining us on our little safari. I hope you enjoy the rest of your days at school. Okay, so you go and have a good day at school, and for the rest of you, we're going to head back to Jamie.